Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Awashai, the one to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lekman out there doing his work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. All right, you know, I just want to get into a uh, quick lesson, you know, and it's basically um, kind of like a second part to the lesson, um, you know, I did about setting up a schedule. You know, this lesson here is pretty much to give, you know, like a balance to that, okay? And, you know, also, you know, just a little willing to be like a helpful little tip, uh, you know, for brothers to use, you know, uh, during your your everyday, you know, uh, walk in the truth, okay? All right, so um, this is uh, Second Ezra uh, 14 and 36, and it says, Let no man therefore come unto me now, nor seek me after these 40 days. So I took the five men as he commanded me and went into the field and remained there. Okay, so what, you know, uh, Ezra basically did, you know, what the Lord commanded him, you know, was basically to isolate himself and to take these five choice men, you know, to do the work. Okay, because the Most High had a tax for him. And, you know, when we think about this, you know, in our everyday lives, you know, even if you have a, a, a family, you have so many different responsibilities, you know, sometimes you just got to isolate yourself, man, you know, because we need that time to sit there and reflect upon things, even if it's not necessarily to, to do a lesson. You know, sometimes you need to just ref, uh, sit back. You might just need to isolate yourself, you know, put up a fast, put up some prayers into the Mosa and, you know, get your head clear, you know. You know, because, uh, you know, uh, Satan has many devices, you know, constantly trying to come up against us, you know, uh, you know, to boggle our minds, to, to weigh us down, weigh our spirit down, you know, different things of this nature. And to just to try to hold us back from doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, but a key and a tool to push through that when things get hectic for you is to isolate yourself, man. Isolate yourself, pray fast and, and dedicate yourself into the work man okay that's a key right there you know so it says uh verse 38 and the next day behold a voice called me saying and you know just real quick uh you know just based off of that point in which i said about um you know isolating yourself fast and then praying and you will notice you know because you know i talked you know with a couple brothers about this you will notice when you take that time out to isolate yourself, you know, and when things are so hectic in your mind, and especially when you pray and when you put up a fast, when that next day when you wake up, you know, uh, when you're completing that fast or whatever the case may be, you're going to notice that you feel very refreshed in the spirit, man. You know, you're going to feel refreshed, man. That That's one thing that that fasting does for you. It. It, it it quickens your spirit, man. You know, it's very refreshing and soothing to, to your spirit, man. You know? So, um, uh, verse 38, it says, And the next day, behold, a voice called me, saying, Ezra, open thy mouth and drink that I give thee to drink. Then opened I my mouth, and behold, he reached me a full cup, which was full as it were with water, but the color of it was like fire. And I took it and drank. And when I drank of it, my heart uttered understanding. Okay, and his heart, well, his mind uttered understanding. Because your literal heart doesn't under, utter understanding. It just pumps blood. So he meant his mind, okay? And wisdom grew in my breast, for my spirit strengthened my memory. And my mouth was opened and shut no more. So what the Most High did here, he poured a certain measure of, of his spirit unto Ezra to do this work, okay? That's why you know he said what the with the which uh, he said he reached for the full cup, which was as it were with water, but the color of it was like fire, okay? Because that's the Most High pouring his spirit unto Ezra to be able to do his deed, man, okay? And he took it. With joy, and he, you know, he said he drank of it, and his heart utter understanding, wisdom grew, and his spirit strengthened his memory. So at times, you know, 
sometimes, like as I said, you know, in the previous lesson, you're gonna have those times where you're gonna just have to go with the spirit, cause out of nowhere, you know, the spirit gets poured upon us, and you notice sometimes, like when you're in camp, you know, you know, camp th things usually start off slow at camp or whatever, but then as you start, you know, reading, precepting, or speaking, you know, then you get more into the spirit of things. Then out of nowhere, you know, what I'm saying like. You're just speaking, you're just bringing out precepts, and it's like you don't even know what you're doing. You know, that's because that's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai working within you. You know, and at the same time, when you're in your own home, you know, you may be watching the video, you may be doing some reading or whatever, but out of nowhere, instantly, you know, the spirit just clicks with you. And all of a sudden, now you're just in the spirit, and the spirit is on you to just go in and do a lesson. You know, well, it's going to be those times like that. You know, when you feel that spirit, that you feel that fire burning within your mind, that you have to uh, uh, get something out through the spirit of your Habashim, I'm sure then you do it, man. You know, you have your schedules, but when the Mosai pours that spirit upon you and, the, and, the, and the, the spirit of the Lord is telling you to go in, then you go in, man. You know, you don't want to sit back and, and question the spirit or you don't want to take your time with the spirit, you know, because just as guys fall out of this truth. You know, and the spirit is instantly taken away from you, from them. You know, at certain times you could be in the spirit. You may have different ideas to do four or five different lessons. Well, if the Most High has it to where you can get all of those out, then you get them out. You know, because at any given time, you know, sometimes within this truth, you know, you go through little spurts where the Most High, you know, just have you on a standstill for a couple of days or whatever, or you might not be in the spirit to do a lesson a couple of days. You know. Even sometimes, sometimes, you know, you put forth that effort to try to force it, you know, because sometimes it's just Satan trying to hinder up your mind. But when you push forth that effort, then the most high let you break through those bonds, you know, uh, of Satan and, and get a lesson out. But then you have sometimes where, you know, you can just try to do something, but the spirit is just not really on you. Then that's when you have to recognize through the spirit that you should just leave, leave it alone and just come back to it, you know. But at these key moments, when you're in the spirit, hey, man, you just go with the spirit, man, and that's it, you know? So it says, uh, verse 42, the highest gave understanding unto the five men, and they wrote the wonderful visions of the night that they were told, which they knew not. And they sat 40 days, and they wrote in the day, and at night they ate bread. For at, as for me, I speak in the day, Slakia, Slakia. As for me, I speak in the day, and I held not my tongue by night. In forty days, they wrote two hundred and four books, and it came to pass, when the forty days were fulfilled, that the highest spake, saying, "The first that thou has written, publish openly." that the worthy and unworthy may read it, okay? So, you know, when the Most High poured the Spirit unto Ezra and unto these men, you know, Ezra speaking, he didn't stop speaking, you know? And what did the men do? They jot down what Ezra was telling them, okay? So at different times, you know, you may have a lot of different ideas for, you know, different lessons or different projects or whatever that you may want to work on. Well, if you can't get them all out because you don't want to, uh, you know, rush them and you want to do quality work or quality lessons for your how about Shimei Awashai, you know, if you have an idea, just jot it down because you may be working on uh, one lesson at the moment and then all of a sudden the most I puts it within your mind know to have an idea for another lesson well you don't want to just automatically just switch the spirit up and just jump to something else when you're already working on something so you want to just you know we all got smartphones you could just pull your smartphone out download uh, a notebook app you know to your phone and just jot down those lessons and if the spirit is willing you could always come back to them you know and, and the most I will jog that spirit back for you so you could get back into the spirit of that lesson and you would take down notes, you know, with those points that you wanted to bring out within that lesson, you know, you know, because that could be a helpful tip for brothers, you know, to do because, you know, that's something that I incorporate, you know, within my every day, you know, so I always have something on deck, you know, that I can get into, you know, if the most high is willing, you know, 
So, you know, with that, you know, I just hope, uh, you know, this lesson was edifying, you know, just to give some type of balance, you know, as to, you know, brothers setting up a schedule, you know, and also being able to go with the spirit and knowing the times that you should go in the spirit when the Lord put the spirit upon you, you know, and when you have those so many ideas in your head, hey, just write them down. You know, because the most high's will, he will put it back upon your spirit, you know, uh, to get back to those lessons in due time, you know, or, you know, as I said, if you're just happen not to be in the spirit at the moment, you know, you go back and you look at those different lessons, those different ideas or those lessons that you wrote down in your notepad, you might just pick one out and you might just go into that lesson for the day, you know, so, you know, I just hope, uh, you know, these uh, quick uh, points and um, tips you know, our, our edifying unto brothers, you know, so with that, you know, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the one to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, and Shalom to Lekman out there, doing his work of faith and labor of love and truth and sincerity, Shalom and death to America.